Got it. Good morning, everybody. This is Gene here. <laughs> Hi, Maxwell here. There's Maxwell is with me. We are off to the American Quilt Show in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I've never been to this show, um, so we'll see. Jen couldn't make it. Um, she's really busy, and it was only at the last minute that Maxwell said that he would come with me. In reality, I should be in school right now. Shush, 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 be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> this is more important. This is an educational trip in the, textile. The, this is <laughs> not educational. Yes, it is. So here we are. I'm going to get on the Pennsylvania Turnpike in a second. Battling sat Friday morning traffic, oh my word. So um, yeah, we were, we're going to the uh, Lancaster Convention Center, I believe that's what it is, where it is. The AQS Show. So, we will see you in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Alright, signing off. Yep. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Matt Max are here again, and we're driving on the turnpike, but I'm not the one freaking out. My mom is. No, 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 no. You put it in your phone, the nav, and it wasn't telling me where to go. Um, and I called, I called Daddy, and I called Jordan, and I'm like, where the heck am I going? Because Route 76 and Route 276 are the same thing? What does that mean? What does that mean? I know I have to go west on the turnpike to go to Lancaster County, but it's, I don't know. I was freaking out, and I don't drive on the turnpike a lot, so I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous. Like, and, the, and, and, and Daddy's saying, you're fine, daughter. <laughs> and Jordan was like, it's okay, Mommy, it's okay. <laughs> so, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous, and I've not even gotten to the quilt show. I need to see quilts. So, um, so what do we do next, Maxwell? Um, the re reason why it wasn't like talking is because I was trying to go through the car but was not really working. I have it going through my phone now and it should talk but my logic, the, the phone's logic is if, if, if we're 600 yards it'll say something. 600 yards turn on to route 270 go on 276. I know and it didn't do that. And because it was trying to go, go through the car. Okay. I have the satellites or whatever the th thing is in my car, and then it's saying no phone connected. Um, yeah, because I took my phone off. Back. So why did you take your phone off? Be be because you told me to take off my the phone. But I'm not stopped. I have to put it into the nav. Uh, um, hey, yo, you you have a built-in nav, and there we also have phone navigations. Oh, two. I hate this. Bring back paper maps. Okay. We'll sign hang out for right now. Uh, if we get lost. <laughs> um we're, we're not gonna get lost. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we are, quilt week. Scooter rental. We don't need that. We're at the convention center. <sighs> Having got here, long, long way, parked a million miles away. But we are at the convention center at the show. Hey, we didn't park a million miles well, away. We only, away. It, was, it was a two minute walk. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a nice convention center. Yes, it is actually. It is actually very nice. Wow. Long drive. Uh, it took us a bit, bit longer than I thought. Um, yes, because we took a wrong turn. So, so we'll cut it here and we'll get you some more footage. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> um, th I am 35 years AQS. There is a ton of people here. It's not like the other shows, is it? Um, Maxwell's come to the other shows. The other show is just there's too much stuff. Well, the other shows. Okay, so this is, so here are some of the, Displays. Let's go over here. Oh my word. Pandemonium. Susan Minchow.
Nebraska. Look at that. This one first place. She had a great imagination. My word. Look at that micro stippling. Look how tiny. Look how tiny that is. No wonder it won first place. This quilt over here, it's an interesting black quilt. Um, <laughs> that one quilt's been moved to the winner's display. Winner's display, we have to go there, but look at this one. Watch out, Maxwell. Watch out, Colin. Look at that. My word. Wow, oh my word. We just realized, folks, we forgot, we forgot uh, our adjective list. It doesn't matter. What would you, what would you say to this one? Sparkly. Sparkly. Can you see that, folks? This got second place from Germany. If you guys could just appreciate the work. Um, and the sparkles. Uh, um, probably on camera you don't see the sparkles, but to our point of view, there are sparkles everywhere. There are sparkles everywhere on this quilt. Oh, this is so sweet. Raggedy Ann and Andy, New Florence, Pennsylvania. Tanette Rummel, that is sweet. Are they appliqued? Oh, it's a panel. Oh, it's so delightful. This is a different quilt shop, um, Maxwell is just saying. It's a little bit different. Um, it's in a smaller convention center. It's fabulous, but it's just a little bit different dynamics than the other ones. Lots and lots of people here. 
um, I can't film quite as uh, generously as I was at the other one. But the quilts, the, qu the quilting caliber is unbelievable. So Maxwell and I are blown away. Uh, but tons of tons of people. So I'm doing, gonna do the best we can. All right, see ya. The creation, expansion of the cubic quiltiverse. Quiltiverse. Magnificent. I really do need my my uh, list of adjectives. You can't you can't believe if you if you can't see these up close. Oh, go. So Maxwell just asked, what did you ask Maxwell? Is that a quilt within a quilt? It's a quilt within a quilt. Isn't that funny? I thought it was hanging on a, I thought it was hanging on the black background. Can you see that Maxwell? <laughs> it's on a black background. There's the black cloth and there's the black quilt. That's very effective. Watch out baby, watch out. These are Judy Niemeyer quilts. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> My good boy. <laughs> Andromeda de crossing. You know, I'm a good quilter. I am. I cannot, though, figure out where these people began. I truly can't. These are masterpieces beyond my imagination, beyond my conception. Do you see that? You see that quilting? Look how small that quilting is. I just don't. I've said it before, I just cannot fathom working on a quilt of this caliber. The sparkles, the magnificence, it's truly magnificent. That word is truly magnificent. I said before, sparkles don't show up on camera. No, the sparkles don't show up on camera. That thing, this quilt here is full of sparkle, full of sparkle. And as what Maxwell said, you can't really see them. This is beautiful. Lovely traditional medallion quilt. Magnificent. Oh, look at the blue. So pretty. So pretty. Talk about a sampler quilt. Look at that, my 20, 2019 block people. Look at that. Every single block. Every single block. Should that be our next challenge? Oh, look, <gasps> every single block is different. There you the four patch. <laughs> There's our nine patch. Oh, this is the 365 challenge where they make a block a day. For 365 days. <gasps> oh, my word. Could you do it? I could do it. Would I want to? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Oh, look, circles. Modern day wedding ring quilt. Ah, but he's bashing my circles. Look at the circle quilting on there. <laughs> There's circles. 
Much better than my circles, though. This is the Beverly Nemish, is that her? I saw her actually quilting this, this peacock on her machine. This fabulous bench. Oh my word. I really did need my adjective list, folks. Maxwell. What did you say, Maxwell? No way. <laughs> what did you just say? I, I think I'm the youngest person here. I think you're the youngest person here too. You're such a good, you're such a good sport, my man. I really appreciate it. I should be in school right now. Oh, shut up. <laughs> We're on a textile investigative journey, right? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. What a, what a textile. Yeah. This woman is shockingly talented. Shockingly talented. That is jean material. That is jean material. Octopus <laughs> trench coat. Ah, this, this is the bench. This is the bluest quilt I've seen so far. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. How's it done? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How's it done? Unreal. Sorry. Thank you.
So Maxwell is thoroughly engrossed in the Euro steam. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh, such a good boy. <laughs> Tribute to Prince, Purple Rain, all of the quilts, all different size. No, all the same size. But different pictures. Different pictures for Prince. A whole wall. Just music. To oh. Prince, oh. the Prince Cherrywood Challenge, 2018. So are we going to do the true love challenge? <laughs> See, these are all the exact same size. This is the judge's choice. It's awesome. That whole wall, all the way down there, are different quilts attributed to Prince. Just, just magical. That uh, is best traditional design. This is best wall quilt. Best wall quilt. This is best stationary machine workmanship. Not going to do this one. That is really fast. <laughs> <laughs> 
Marie's treasure. What a treasure. What a treasure. Now this, simulated flight. Look <laughs> how clever. A flight path, an engine, an uh, airplane, jet engine coming into land. The imagination, look at that. The imagination. Wonderful. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Now look at that quilt. That is, a lot of these quilts, I have to say, are darker. And I like darker quilts, but my heart is drawn to this quilt. <gasps> Susan Stewart, Pittsburgh, Kansas. It's so pretty and soft and delightful. And what did Maxwell just say? Looks like a Starburst candy. And that's what it's called. that could be my favorite quilt here.
so here, Tin Lizzie. Write your name in cursive. Okay, I'll actually write my name in cursive. So I'll try. Remember, you have to keep consistent, darling. Here are some quilts of valor, the red, white, and blue quilts. Beautiful color combination. A lovely, a lovely quilt exhibit. So Maxwell found a pen he likes. I want it. <laughs> and it has a seam ripper at the other um, end. <laughs> no, that is one in the head. There's one that's just, just pens. It's just a pen. How much is it? I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like 30 bucks. Oh, I'm not sure. Worth it. So I just met Karen, and on my um, on my comments, this is Ms. Montana, Ms. Montana, and we just met up at the quilt show here. She recognized me, yes, and she put a put a put a face to the name. Um, so what we did, we just went there. I just watched. We were okay. We were in the um, pop up quilt show. So you have your quilt. I have my little mini quilt. A little mini quilt that we were allowed to bring a little quilt. And they they video so yeah, the last yeah. stuff. Yeah, so Karen even now. I know. So this is Karen's. Oh, and I, let me nice. read off my own paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot my I forgot my paperwork. Oh no. This is so this is this here, I'll let you hold it for one minute. Do you want me to read or you yes, want to read? No, you can read. Okay. I named it a poet cloth. I live in Shalcock near Royalstown. Paper piecing with wool suit swatches from England. Flange binding, hand binding, stitch in the ditch with invisible nylon, and free motion on my Juki home machine. Yeah, clever, and you bought your Juki at the same spot. At the first one, the first one. 
And then I just bought this one, which you've seen me make. This is my, this is my penny farthing book. And this is supposed to be the one with the new screen. that happened in that magazine? And no, that was the other bicycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, this was another bicycle. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> you. you're welcome. So, here we are. <laughs> so nice to see you. Oh, my God. Let's see. I made a wish. And then I see you. I'm like, no way. Uh, thank you so much. So it's lunchtime. I was yes. quite desperate. Were you desperate, Maxwell? <laughs> desperate to leave. Oh, stop. <laughs> He's been such a good boy. We just had our pop up quilt show. Yes, and we did. this is a beautiful convention center. We are just sitting here chilling. And we bought our lunch because food is expensive at quilt shows. So this is on the third floor. And we bought our sandwiches and we're just going to go into the where I think all the, the winners of um, the quilt show are um, they've been taken away from the main display floor downstairs and um, yeah we're gonna go see the winners yep. the winning quilts are you having fun yet Maxwell <laughs> I guess <so. laughs> he's such a good boy <laughs> what does it say who's it made by yeah this is the woman from Japan my Maya. Hikiro Mayama Hikiro. and Masanobu Mayama. This woman makes these quilts. She won one a couple years ago. That is shocking. <laughs> shocking. Second place. Little artists, it's called. Hey, it is cold in this room. It is a bit cold in here, isn't it? The shading in that face. You have to see that to believe it. It looks so real. Second prize. Wow. Another. Mm -hmm. This is a Beth Ann Nemesh. Nemesh. This has caught my eye. Well, they've all caught my eye, but Spring Harmony. Kathy McNeil. Look at that. 
Pagoda. Well done, Kathy McNeil. Well done. So we're done. We're headed home. Are you a good guy for going to a quilt show with me? Well, I. I kind of had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, the general consensus is I've never been to an American quilt show, uh, American Quilters Society. Society, AQS. I've never been to a quilt show. I've been to about eight quilt shows, and I've never been to an AQS show. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it was very interesting. The vendors were very upmarket there must have been 15 long arm uh, high-end sewing machine vendors there I think more so than uh, the the, um, the other court shows that we've been to lots and lots and lots of very very uh, expensive vendors with lots and lots of very expensive machines um, fantastic Maxwell, as you've seen, Maxwell was using a long arm that was a Tin Lizzie. There was Handy Quilter, uh, Gamels, and uh, you name it. There was every kind of long arm and Bernina, Janome's, every machine in the book. Every single sewing machine that you can, you can uh, think of. Fantastic. The, co the convention center was fabulous. Three stories. Um, not a, uh, there was a lot of quilts. What did you think? fantastic quilts but Maxwell has been to some a few other quilt shows and he he thought there weren't quite as many uh, quilts on display but I don't know we'll have to see because um yeah maybe there was maybe there was and I got a lot of pictures and hopefully you'll be able to see um where you've seen of the, the magnificent magnificent um, yeah. Stay still camera so we are on the turnpike going home we met two lovely people Hannah and Karen so shout out to Hannah and Karen for recognizing us and um, it was wonderful and I want to thank my Maxwell for coming yeah for coming with me and uh, keeping me company I would have I, um, I miss Jen the next quilt show we may be going to in May again out here in Lancaster County I'm not quite sure again what Jen's schedule is there's definitely one in September quite close to us but um probably the one in May or there's one in July, but we'll let you guys know. So I hope you've enjoyed the AQS quilt show in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Some of the beautiful quilt, quilts that we got to see and share with you guys. So um, have a lovely day. Signing off from Maxwell and I. See ya. <laughs>